Kung pagdating sa usapang sasakyan, meron mga V8, V12, or a high-powered engine for supercars, here we are with computers also that AMD offers the best processor for mainstream users or uh, for consumers, the Threadripper lineup. So, nasa third generation na po tayo and here we have the AMD Threadripper 3960X. So, this is the most affordable uh, Threadripper processor na uh, pwede nating uh, makuha sa pinaka-latest generation nila because it comes also with the 3970X and the 3990X. And uh, yung mga processor nga na yan is nasa around uh, 100,000 to 200,000 processor pa lang. Now on this video, I will be showing to you guys what will be the real world performance of out of the box. Kung baga pagka-avail mo, ano yung may experience mo? Initial benchmark na may experience mo. And since medyo sobrang daming pwedeng uh, gawin, uh, pag-usapan about this Threadripper or pwedeng ipakita sa inyo mga kaibigan, I... Uh, uh, do this in uh, two parts. Etong unang i-release ko is out of the box pa lang po. And most of the softwares or applications na ipapakita ko dito is most of the uh, softwares na ginagamit ng mga uh, nag-3D rendering, video editors, or uh, those guys who are into productions. So architects, engineers, yun po yung mga ipapakita ko po muna. On the next video or on the next part na i-release ko uh, maybe uh, around the... Uh, second week or third week of March is uh, yun na po yung kasama na po yung gaming part. And of course, if you are also seeking some overclocking, tweaks, and uh, other uh, more complicated uh, benchmark or results pagdating sa Threadripper, with this video, wala po muna ngayon. Out of the box, walang po muna tayo. So, disclaimer lang po mga kaibigan, baka mamaya uh, magtatanong po kayo. Uh, yun po, inuunahan ko na po kayo Ito po muna is the initial and out of the box. What will you expect if you will avail this without uh, any other kind of configurations na gagawin? Okay, so wala nang masyadong paligoy-ligoy mga kaibigan. Let's proceed and talk about this Threadripper processor. And of course, we are also featuring in here the Orus TRX40 Orus Extreme. Yan po ang ating uh, motherboard na ginamit. And uh, we have here the Cougar Dark Blader G. Uh, this is the new... Uh, mainstream uh, chassis from Cougar. So, yan po yung finiture natin ngayon. Medyo naka-RGB uh, rainbow setup po siya. Pero on the part or uh, as we succeed with the video, I will be also showing to you guys what it may look kung uh, naka-static colors lang po. Okay, so let's proceed and feel free to subscribe para makita nyo pa po yung susunod na follow-up video neto with a lot of tweaks, with a lot of uh, benchmarks in terms of gaming as well and what will you expect on other applications na hindi natin naipakita with the first video. And of course, para sa mas marami pang PC builds, reviews, or latest products na darating ngayong taong 2020. So let's do this guys, and yes, sit back and relax. Alright, so diretso na tayo kaagad sa ating AMD. 3960X Threadripper. It is just one of the variant or the based variant pagdating sa Threadripper lineup ni AMD. And for us to have no excuses in terms of uh, um, bottleneck or in terms of uh, motherboard, we also chose to have the top of the line TRX40 Gigabyte Orus can offer. So we have here the uh, very heavy motherboard na meron po sila. And then with the memory, I chose to have the 32GB uh, 2x8, 16GB, uh, 2 pairs from Corsair Vengeance at a 3600MHz. And then pagdating naman sa cooler, dyan po tayo sobrang nag-struggle kasi wala po tayong mahanap na Threadripper. Ang hirap po maghanap ng Threadripper cooler. Pero there are some workarounds since those Threadripper processors comes with these brackets that uh, you may use if uh, you will be using the Orus uh, AIO or any other uh, AIO out there in the market. Pero as of now, since wala po tayo ng mga ibang coolers, I have here the Cooler Master which is dedicated only for Threadripper processors. So, eto po ngayon yung pinili natin, the Cooler Master Air Cooler. And then for the video card, I know there are still a lot of better video cards that we can have in the market to be paired with this uh, TRX or this uh, Threadripper uh, 3960X. So, I just chose to have the best uh, video card AMD can offer since ang pag-uusapan or ang focus naman ng ating conversation ngayon is all about the processor and all about 
the potential of this processor with the production side. Kumbaga production which is uh, if there are applications that demands more in terms of the video card more than the CPU, eh medyo mas bibihira compared sa gaming. Yes, I'm aware there is the Lumion na pwede ko rin piliin yung RX 5700 XT. So we have here the Aorus RX 5700 XT and then uh, for the chassis of course the Dark Blader G of Cougar. Okay, so let's proceed on the first software. Here is the Blender. And one of the software that is uh, used pagdating sa mga ganyan, mapa civil worksman or mapa production or mechanical or automotive industry is Blender 3D. And ito nga po, one of the common uh, preview na, pinip, na binibenchmark natin dati is it took 9 minutes, 7 minutes for video card or CPU to render. And with this Threadripper, it only took us 2 minutes and 50, almost 3 minutes, let me say like that. Almost 3 minutes po ang kanyang time frame. Sobrang laki ng agwat. So how much more if we are creating or we are rendering times 10 of that kind of uh, work lag? Kumbaga, mas uh, mabigat pa. So ibig sabihin, if you will be having this 3960X, then you will have an advantage of even a day or two compared sa mga kasamahan mo. Kasi nga po, ang production mga kaibigan or ang rendering ng mga production type na mga projects is hindi po yan ginagawa or nare-render ng oras lang. Minsan, araw pa. And uh, if you have the Threadripper, of course, you can save a lot of time and you can save a lot of hours. So that 3 minutes compared to 9 minutes is so big for that kind of simple project lang na preview natin. Okay, so let's move on to the Lumiona software which is commonly used by architects. And that is the mainstream software na even those uh, students na nag-aaral pa lang ng architectural or engineering is Lumion na po yung kanilang ginagamit. Napaka-mainstream po niyan. Kumbaga, uh, pinaka-common to all the universities across the Philippines na nakita ko. Lumion. Benchmark in terms of Lumion, is it worth it to have the Threadripper? Well, as I said earlier, it is a GPU, kumbaga, in terms of games, GPU-bound software. Eh, dahil nga po yun po yung uh, mas tinitake advantage ng Lumion, then we didn't appreciate the Threadripper performance on this side. So, kumbaga, kung mag-Threadripper ka, tapos Lumion, or more on Lumion lang naman yung gagawin mo, of course, the Threadripper is not the go-to processor. You may just settle down with a lower variant, like a, maybe a 3950X, that is uh, good enough. Kasi kung medyo tight na po yung budget, of course, uh, kung loom yun or estudyante ka pa lang, then the 3900X, 3950X or at least 3700X processor is good enough for you. And invest more on the video card. So yung video card na lang yung mas tataasan mo kung more on loom yun ka po mga kaibigan. Pero how about if you are an architect and uh, nagtatrabaho ka na or um, isa kang estudyante ng architect or engineer na marami ka rin ginagawang mga projects na gagamitan mo ng Revit, Autodesk Revit. Lalong-lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating engineers dyan na uh, they are also the 3D rendering their projects para sa mas magandang presentation. Of course, Revit is one of their favorite software that uh, uh, get in touch with. Aside from the Lumion, syempre gumagamit din po sila ng Lumion. And with the Revit side, here we are showing you that if you will say Threadripper is an overkill processor for your job or for your uh, editing side. Kung kumbaga sasabihin mo, sobra naman yan yung Threadripper. 24 cores, 36 cores, 64 cores. That is too much. That is, uh, uh, saan, anong software ang makakapagpataob uh, uh, dyan? Of course, the Revit. Simpleng project pa lang po ang i-render natin. It's not as simple, it's already a very complicated project. Pero kitang kita naman po mga kaibigan, that is going 100%. And the temperature is rising so fast that this Threadripper uh, and cooler can even handle this kind of he very heavy workload. So sobrang bigat ng uh, Revit para kay Threadripper. And dito nasagad talaga si Threadripper. Ngayon, Ito po yung dahilan kung bakit may mga Threadripper processors, mga kaibigan. Uh, kaya kung sasabihin po nating overkill, yes, I admit that on some softwares, on some uh, um, applications, it may go overkill. Pero if you are in 3D rendering, if you are in architectural, engineering, of course, there are times that you will be using softwares like Revit 
you will be using softwares that are more into CPU, not only Lumion. Sabihin na lang natin na, ah, more on Lumion lang naman ako. Architect ako, pero more on Lumion lang naman ako. Pero, lagi bang ganun yung situation? Sometimes, you will be also using softwares that requires you to open the Revit software. You will also be required to use some software that, ah, uh, you can uh, toggle at a CPU performance for faster uh, rendering. So, matatake advantage mo pa rin yung Threadripper. And here is the actual benchmark showing you guys that the Threadripper processor is a really a very uh, mainstream processor that can be availed by those who are into large-scale uh, projects. Actually, some firms prefer to have the Threadripper. Uh, last year, meron pa akong nirelease na video dito ng isang kaibigan and he owns a firm uh, somewhere Isabela. So, he traveled uh, for I think around uh, 16 hours to 8 hours papunta dito para lang uh, gawin namin yung uh, Threadripper na build niya. Kasi nga po, kailangan talaga nila sa firm nila because they are releasing projects that are very large scale. Kumbaga, isang compound, isang subdivision. Yan po mga nakikita nyo sa mga TV, sa mga billboards na pinapakita nila is hindi pa naman napapatayo yung mismong subdivision pero meron ng uh, preview ng subdivision or meron ng preview ng bahay mga ginagamit po dyan na hardware to render those kind of very heavy or very large scale projects is high power processors like this Threadripper and then moving on naman sa mga video editors na kasamahan natin well uh, paano naman sa amin kumusta naman is the Threadripper worth it para sa amin well, for this benchmark that I will be showing to you guys, um, on the playback or on the editing process, you may take advantage of Threadripper uh, on the multitasking side. Like you can edit while watching, while, uh, op uh, while your uh, Photoshop is open, Lightroom is open, several applications is open. Pero as much as you have the processor working for those kind of multitasking, it is more on the RAM side. So, medyo hindi po take advantage yung Threadripper dito. On the exporting side naman, like uh, you will now export the project, it is uh, equal lang po, more on the processor and more on the video card. Kasi may mga transitions or effects that uh, require uh, the video card power or the uh, video card performance. So, hindi rin po take advantage masyado yung Threadripper. Since uh, Adobe Premiere, or Adobe products is more on the higher frequency. Going to that kind of uh, 24 cores, as you can see din naman sa processes na pinapakita natin dito, hindi po natin take advantage. As you can see, the load uh, percentage is just uh, not even uh, close sometimes at a 50% or even 30%. So, uh, yun po. Video editors, um, if there is a recommendation that I may uh, give you, you can have the Threadripper still, especially kung kayang-kaya naman ng ating budget. Pero if uh, medyo alanganin or very tight, then you may choose uh, lower uh, processors and stick or uh, upgrade or invest more dun sa video card at saka sa memory. So, yun po yung mga suggestion ko sa mga kasamahan natin dyang video editors. Basta, ang pinaka-minimum po dyan is Ryzen 5 3600 and then uh, Go 3700X. Basta, habang tumataas po yung core counts, mga kaibigan, is a diminishing gain. Pag sinabi natin diminishing gain, uh, tumataas yung presyo, tumataas yung core counts, pero yung gain ng performance is uh, lumiliit yung percentage advantage. Like, uh, kung uh, from 4 cores to 8 cores, ay 6 cores, is nag-gain ka ng 50% advantage from 6 cores to 7 cores, or 8 cores, I'm sorry, is uh, nagigain ka na lang ng around uh, 25% or even 15% or as low as 10%. Uh, so, ayun po mga kaibigan, ang general explanation para sa mga kasamahan natin na video editors. Marami po akong nirelease na mga videos showing you uh, numbers in terms of benchmarks. So, you may just check some videos previously uploaded on this channel. So, kung may mga nabibitawan ako na mga details mga kaibigan at gusto nyong kuhanan ng mga proweba or uh, proof, you may just uh, check some other videos na in-upload ko na po before uh, for you guys to have the numbers or for you guys to have the graph of the benchmark. Alright, of course, ginamit din po natin yung V-Ray uh, benchmarking tool to check uh, if how will this uh, perform with other uh, hardware configurations na na-upload po sa mismong uh, V-Ray uh, website. And nakita po natin mga kaibigan na marami po siyang dinaig. And here is one of the processor na nagulat tayo kasi ito po yung pinakamahal na Threadripper last year. And this is the previous uh, build na in-upload ko po last May, uh, yes, May 2019. 
And uh, yun na po yung pinakamahal talaga na processor na, na offer. And this is also the base model processor na in offer this year. And when we check the benchmark and even other sites and even other uh, uh, tech reviewers, nakita po natin na yung V-Ray performance ng ating 3960X is way higher or or mas mataas compared dun sa top of the line or pinaka mataas sa top of the line last year na Threadripper. So is it worth it to upgrade or is it worth it to choose the 3960X? Yes, it is very very worth it. And uh, if uh, tatanungin mo naman po ako kung mag upgrade ka ba kung nakuha mo yung top of the line processor last year to 3960X, well I don't recommend that since uh, the uh, performance is uh, hindi naman magdi-deliver ng uh, very uh, significant advantage. Pero ang nakakagulat lang dito mga kaibigan is it is higher than the top of the line. So that is what I didn't expect. Uh, medyo hindi ko masyadong in-expect na ganun ka grabe yung advantage ng bagong Threadripper na yung base model na Threadripper is tatalunin yung pinaka top of the line. I'm expecting na yung base model na Threadripper is uh, most likely tatalunin yung base model na Threadripper last year at the same time yung second to the base na Threadripper. Pero eto ngayon, 3960X beat all of the Threadripper in the previous generation. Ayun nga po, sobrang nakakatuwa. And uh, yes, AMD deliver us a very significant upgrade with their new generation that makes the uh, production or those guys who are uh, investing into Threadripper lineup very very worth it for them to choose. Well, there are things na hindi ko nabanggit like for example, pagdating sa Lumion, uh, hindi lang po yung uh, video card, hindi lang po yung uh, processor yung kailangan natin consider. We should also consider the RAM na TRX40 is 8 slots and uh, you might uh, think na ah, overkill yan. Uh, 32 gig, 64 gig, that is already too much. Pero actually, sa totoong uh, real world na activity, lalong lalo na kung large scale ang mga ginagawa nating projects, yung uh, 64 gig, yung 128 gig na RAM, is saktong-sakto lang para sa mga ganyang projects. Kaya ayun, mas pagbibigyan pa natin na mas maraming detalye ang mga ganyang bagay sa susunod natin na video. And let's move on to the chassis, the Dark Blader G from Cougar. What I love with this chassis is yung kanyang uh, structure. Sobrang bigat. Actually, kung ikukumpara mo sa mga budget chassis, like for example, the previous uh, rack gears na pinakita ko sa inyo, na mid-tower chassis din, 7 kilos yun. Ito is doble. And it's even more than twice the weight of that rack gears, uh, rack sinaya. So, ganyan po kabigat itong chassis na to. Napaka-premium po niya. Yung kanyang uh, front metal Yung uh, thickness ng kanyang SGCC steel is sobrang kapal. Actually, uh, I want to show it to you guys kaso nga lang wala kong vernier caliper. And then aside from that, yung kanyang HDD cage and even that uh, HDD caddy, metal din yung ginamit nila dito. So, uh, di na tayo magtataka kung bakit uh, sobrang bigat niya at saka yung tempered glass na side panel at saka yung uh, both side panels kasi is tempered glass. So, napakaganda in terms of structural. So, hindi na natin kailangan isa-isahin kasi as you can see naman, aesthetics wise, uh, maganda na yung uh, itsura niya. Pero just go to the uh, key points na nagustuhan ko dito sa chassis na to. Una is yung kanyang clearance sa taas, the compatibility for uh, AIO, you can top mount AIOs uh, at the top. And then uh, for the front and then uh, for the uh, uh, vertical GPU mount na nakaabang and then for the love of ARGB kaya po yan po yung pinapakita ko sa inyo mga kaibigan na uh, default color niya is for you guys to appreciate na maganda yung kanyang ARGB support meron siyang ding ARGB hub sa likod purpose talaga kung bakit may mga RGB features is for us to have an option na uh, mag-set ng kung anong static uh, color ang gusto natin. So, kesa bibili ka ng uh, red na fan or blue na fan or green na fan na in the future hindi mo naman napapapalitan na, eh mag-RGB ka na lang para at least kung gusto mo na ang ambient mo ngayong araw is a uh, cool green then you can just set it to green. Kung gusto mo na purple, you can set it to purple. If you want red, you can set it to red. If you want... Uh, any, any color. So, yun po yung mga dahilan kung bakit meron tayong mga RGB choices. Yan po yung mga dahilan. Hindi po porket RGB, iseset mo na ng rainbow. So, default lang po kasi yung rainbow just to showcase the RGB uh, feature ng isang 
uh, equipment or ng isang uh, chassis. So for this chassis, I want also to showcase yung mga kaibigan sana yung thermal uh, side or performance niya. Pero I will better do that with the uh, other hardware inside. As of now, ang ipinapakita ko kasi sa inyo is uh, the Threadripper uh, and the uh, TRX-40 to showcase yung clearance na pwede dito sa chassis na to. Itong ganitong klase ng hardware. Pagdating po sa mga thermal uh, temperature, performance and other stuff about this chassis, keep posted din po dahil mayroon din pong part 2 itong video na to. And at the same time, for this chassis na Cougar Dark Blader G. Alright, so that's it mga kaibigan and thank you.